Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets and welcome to this nugget discussing enterprise architecture. And I kind of kicked off the discussion of the importance of enterprise architecture back in an earlier nugget when we were talking about the IT structure and the org chart and my suggestion that architecture should be at a high level reporting directly into the top of the house so we have this overarching view of enterprise architecture in the organization and the key with enterprise technology the reason i believe it needs to be reporting into the very top of the it structure is it has to have the enterprise view and it has to ensure that we have a coherent technology platform in place. Now you may be saying coherent. We're talking about a bunch of computers here. How can it be coherent? And again, maybe, maybe my, my, my life in IT is showing through here a little bit, but I actually believe coherent is appropriate. And yes, I know I'm applying humanistic characteristics to inanimate hardware. But the fact is, our technology platforms that are in place in organizations today is so complex that the lowest level base operating system must appropriately connect into the middlewares. And the middleware must connect appropriately to the firewalls. And the firewalls have to be able to communicate inwards and outwards and so on and so on and so on. So again, overstatement but my belief is we need to have this absolute coherent approach to how technology is going to be used and deployed in the organization and it has to be done at the enterprise level and we have to have the roadmap this is our strategic plan as we discussed in an earlier nugget when we're talking about the strategic plan we need to have the long range vision we want to get off the expensive mainframe because it is too expensive and we want to move to a more cost effective platform and somebody believes that client server is the way to do that that's our vision that's our roadmap from that nugget we discussed how we have an immediate need to get rid of a very expensive application somebody has identified it can be replatformed as is to a Unix box so we are able to start to roll out the coherent technology based on the strategic plan tying to the roadmap. But the other key message we have to have in enterprise architecture is at all times the architecture has to tie to business. IT should never be taken on anything at all that isn't 100% defined by the business. Now, we do have to stretch that just a little bit. I don't think there's ever going to be a business plan or a business user that's going to come to IT and says, hey guys, could you go out there and implement a firewall? I need a firewall that's going to filter for this and this and this and this and it's going to block this and it's going to allow these kind of transactions. No, the business doesn't think in that level but the business is going to define the requirements for the level and type and nature of security required, or it's our job as IT to remind them of the importance of the security and protection. And therefore, we will tie some of the IT specifics to support the longer term business goal. But bottom line, we shouldn't be buying any technology unless it absolutely supports business and it should always be based on the alignment to the strategic plan. So lots of nice words around what enterprise architecture is. What does it look like? How do we put enterprise architecture into play? And this is just a random sample of what I would describe as a good architecture vision for an organization that I grabbed from the internet. I know it's fuzzy. I know you can't read all of the boxes. The intention is not to review the architecture in great detail, but basically look at what a good information architecture defines, how it's going to be this coherent approach. We have our information layer at the bottom. 
where we're discussing how things connect. Then we work up through the business layers. Then we have business layers for each of our departments for business development, marketing, sales, and so on. And then we move up through. And in this particular instance, it's obviously discussing how it's going to interact with social media. But the bottom line is the information architecture, the enterprise architecture is focused on a full end-to-end -end strategy and approach for how architecture, for how technology is going to be used in this particular organization. And I'll conclude this nugget in enterprise architecture, which much the same way I've concluded the last several nuggets. The key is, as an auditor, you need to be prepared to ask the questions, is this enterprise architecture complete? Is this enterprise architecture appropriate for the business direction? Is this enterprise architecture capable of doing everything that IT is supposed to do in support of the business. I hope this nugget has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.